This video is bonus content to go with my Digits Are Forever video, which sounds a bit like this. Digits are forever. Thank you, Helen. This is me talking a bit more about primes and powers of 10, which equal one modulo those primes. That's all well and good, but now you've got to find all the covering systems for all the different values of D, and then for each of those, you've got to find all the primes required for every section within each covering system. And we'll go one step further down the path of how that's done by using the prime 101 as our example again. So let's say we don't know what powers of 10 give us a remainder one mod 101. So we'll just start checking. 10 to the one is remainder 10 mod 101. Okay, 10 squared is remainder 100. 10 cubed is remainder 91. 10 to the power of four is remainder one. Ah, there it is, we've got it. But then if you keep going, 10 to the five is back to 10 again. And you just go around in this cycle. It's a cycle of order four. And every time you do this with powers of 10, for any prime that you're finding the remainder for, you're gonna get a cycle. Cause there's only a finite number of values you can have as the remainder. And sooner or later, you're gonna have the same one twice. Something, something, pigeonhole theory. So we know for any prime we pick, there will be some order, some size of the cycle for powers of 10. We also know the very last one will be equal to one mod that prime. It's because the first one is always equal to 10 mod that prime for primes bigger than 10. And if you go in reverse, that's you're dividing by 10. Instead of multiplying by 10, you go back to one. So you've just got to find a cycle with the order for whatever your modulus m was, and you know for multiples of that m, you're always gonna be one before the beginning of the cycle, which always gives you remainder one. I hope that made some sense. The authors of the paper then used a very clever technique involving cyclotomic polynomials, loads of other great fun. I recommend you check it out for yourself. The paper is actually quite a good read. So the way I made this video, I just sat down, I read this paper five times, and each time I went through, I made new summary notes from scratch in gradually more and more detail, and then less and less detail as I was trying to plan what I was gonna put in the video. And actually, a heap of the stuff at the front is just other examples of using some of the techniques they're gonna use in the paper. And the real bit doesn't kick in until page five, and the whole thing, including the uh, like the uh, acknowledgements and stuff at the back, with it's like 17 pages. Now, there's a lot of attachments that go with it. So I've not included the rest of these pages. This is the appendix, and this contains all the values they had to find. There you are, just a bit more about how they found the primes and were able to match them up with what powers of 10 equaled one mod those primes. Obviously it was a huge computational effort to check out the paper. It's got all the details about what they actually did. And now just while you're here watching bonus footage, here's something I filmed about my dog, but I didn't put in the main video because I thought it was too self-indulgent. Oh, and while we're here, if you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen, I tweeted a little while ago about my new dog, Skylab, eating my homework. I was genuinely doing the mathematics behind this video. This is when I was reading the paper, making notes each time I went through. Sky managed to grab a bit of the paper. In fact, I've got it here. There's my notes. So um, she got right on the top of that, ran off with it. I thought I'd never see this bit again. I found this a couple of hours later. She must've got bored and spat it out somewhere. I think that's between these, that's... No, it's still missing some of it actually. So she's definitely ingested um, some mathematics. So there you are, for all the years I was a teacher, I think I owe a lot of students a lot of apologies that dogs do genuinely eat homework. First time it's happened to me, so there you are. So anyway, that's um, uh, Skylab, Sky, Skylab the dog, Labrador, named Sky. We think that's very funny. They've got their own YouTube channel. There you are, fewer subscribers than me, for now. I'll link to it below.